Hey, what's up friends? Welcome back to the channel. In this simple tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can format different numbers. So let's say you are working with currencies and I once made a, a tutorial about the currency converter. You'll see it popping up right now in the card section. But we never solved this. So somebody asked me, how can you put commas in the right place? So let's say somebody enters a million, 30,000 shillings. So stuff like that. So depending on the number that you're trying to convert, this is the right tutorial for you to watch. So we are going to be using this international number format object. So for it, what it does, it just enables, enables language sensitive number formatting. So depending on the country or currency that you'll be working on, this object will format the number in the right way. So this is the simple markup I have, and we're not going to talk about this for now. I'm going to jump straight to main.js file, which is empty. So I will just come back to the markup later, because I want to first show you the real way out to solve this. So we are going to just, it's like jumping to the end before <laughs> the start. So we are going to declare here a variable number. You can call it anything you want, so long as it is sensitive. Non sensitive but obvious what you're working on. Let's put a million here. So that's the number. We have created a variable number and we have assigned we are like we have made a variable number and we are assigning it one million, right? So let's create another variable here called formatted. And we are going to assign it to this object new international so intel that is the short or prefix so intel dot number format and this is camel case right so the n is in capital and f is in capital and then let's say dot format or format and inside here you pass in the number that you want format right which is number and here, remember number is carrying this 1 million. Let us do console.log and let us now console out the formatted number that we want. So remember, we have assigned this object to this variable. So whatever is inside this variable is getting it from this side. So let us console console.formatted. And the moment I save this, this object is going to put commas in appropriate places where the comma is supposed to be. So save. And here in the console, you will see that they have placed commas in the right place. As you can see how useful this object is. As I said, it enables language sensitive number formatting. If you put 1,000, oh, it will know where the comma is supposed to be, right? Then, as I said, you can even use locals here. Let's say you are dealing with Ugandan shillings. So what this object does, it takes in options. Let me make this somehow bigger. So it takes in options. Here you specify the country and the language sorry so in uganda we use english and our two digits or alpha two codes we have ug so that's the country uganda and then you put a comma it takes in an object and here in this object you specify the style what type of style do you want because this object can also handle units like if you are working with these speed speed measuring stuff, so you can put units there. But here we are working with the currents, so we will say we want the style of currents. And then, which type of currents do you want? And the currents that we want is UGX, because that's Uganda. Just this, hope you're not confused. But as I said, it takes in options. First, you specify the country. And then here, 
you specify the styles that you want to apply on that. Let me save this. And here, you see they will put a prefix of that country. In Uganda, we use Ugandan shillings. And they will put USH, that is shillings. And then, if you're wondering, for the United States, where you use the USD, here you put US, that's the country. And then the currency that they use in the United States is USD. Save this and we put a dollar sign at the beginning, dot 0 .00. So this is the local way of formatting currencies in the United States. If you're working with the Great Britain pound, so GB, Great Britain, that's the country. Remember, the style will always be currency if you're working with the money. Then the currency that they use, we put Great Britain pound. So GB. P. Save that and here they will put the pound symbol, right? I hope you guys now are understanding what this international number format object does. At first, you saw the easiest way. If we remove this, you can just leave it blank if you don't want to specify any type of country or stuff like that formatting, and you go straight to this. If you don't want to be specific on what type of currency that the user has entered, you can just take it like this without putting all those options inside using the locals and options. So I hope now you understand what this international number format does. That's what it does. It just puts the commas, formats the number in the right way by placing the commas and just see. If you are to remove these white spaces, you can achieve this within three lines of code. There's nothing like putting if else statements. If the number has these digits, put the comma here. If it has this, put the comma here. So that's this is what this object does. It helps you to format the number that you have given to it. Let us now remove that. That's what I wanted to show you before we go into this tutorial now oh <laughs> now we want when the user enters here let's say 1000 at uh, 10,000 and they press convert we show a converted format there right oh so it's the right time to explain the markup and it's very very simple so what we are having here, we are just having a form with the ID of my form. And inside that form, we have an input field with the ID of money and the submit button having the text or the value of convert. That's it. This is the markup. So what we are going to do here, we are going to target two elements, the form and the input field. So let form and we assign it to document dot query selector oh query query selector and we want to target the id sorry the id of my form i hope it's the id that i gave it here so this is the form it has the id of my form right and then we have the input field. So let input field and we assign it to document dot query selector. Select to and it has the ID of money. Remember here, this is the ID that we are trying to select. It has the ID of money. And thus those are the elements that we need to target in in the markup then let us assign an event on the form so form dot add event listener and the type of event that we want to listen to is the submit so when the person clicks the convert button so they will be submitting this form and let us put in the callback function so i'm going to be using the arrow function so what we are doing when the user clicks on this we are listening for a submit event and we don't want the 
browser to refresh as you're seeing it so right now well when the user clicks here they will be refreshing the entire page so here we shall pass in the event object and we say e dot prevent default so we don't want the browser to refresh when the person clicks on that convert button right as you can see it's not refreshing now let us get the value that the user has typed in so let's say if the user enters in this right so we want to get the value so we shall say input field oh let, let us create a variable var or oh, let let us stick to right let amount equals to input field remember we already this is the input field the entire input field so let amount equals input field dot value so we just want the value from that on the node value but the value so whatever the person enters in let us first console dot log amount amount oh amount so whatever the user enters in we shall be having access to it 100 convert and you see 100 here 1000 convert you see 1000 here 10000 convert you see 10000 there right so we have access to what the user has typed in then the next thing that we are going to do is create a variable or formatted and we assign it to the new international number format so the intel you can call it like that number format and this is a camel case as i told you the n is in capital and f is in capital and we say dot format and what do you want format is the value that the users put in which is now stored in this variable of amount so you pass in here amount All right then we want now update update the value that will be here and set it to the formatted one so we shall say input field remember we already have this this is it and we say dot value and we want to assign it to the formatted value oh not the form the formatted value check this out so if somebody enters here one million and they click convert so we are getting the formatted number and it's the one that we are assigning it as the value three thousand that and you put the comma in the right place then if you still remember let us now pass in some locals and options right here the first option is you pass in the country so english is the one we use in uganda then the next one is an object and it takes in the style so the style we want for currents and then the currents what is the currents that you are working on then you pass in ugx that's the one that we're using in uganda if i am to put here 2000 they put shillings in front so 2000 shillings and for the united states us us sorry here you specify the country and then for the currents here put usd and check this out they will put a dollar sign at the start point zero zero so depending on the country that you'll be feeding in great britain and for them they use the pound check out this and you put the pound symbol in front so guys if this tutorial has been useful to you please subscribe to the channel like the video and i'll see you in the next tutorial i'm going to leave the link to the documentation of this object of the international number format and you see 
the different types of countries or even your country if at all you want to use this in your project. And remember, I'm going to leave the link to the current converter that I created also popping up right now again in your card section. Peace.